think, you know, with MDS especially, um, the symptoms are kind of insidious. So patients feel tired, um, they feel fatigued, but there isn't, um, you know, there isn't some sort of debilitating single, um, you know, symptom that leads physicians to say, oh, this patient definitely has, you know, MDS. So I think a lot of these patients go back and forth to their primary care physicians before they're referred to either a hematologist or a heme onc. Um, so I think, um, I think that kind of delay sometimes in getting diagnosed um, especially in an elderly patient, um, can be frustrating. And, um, you know, the earlier patients get diagnosed, um, the better it is for them, you know, to be on treatment and be seen by a qualified physician. So um, I, I think that that diagnostic step is really important in getting physicians to kind of identify the constellation of symptoms that could mean a patient has high-risk MDS, um, you know, these patients, again, um, have fairly poor quality of life. So, you know, anything that we can do to get them on a drug that's going to alleviate that to some extent is, is really important.